Good afternoon. Good My af name is Kimberly Wilson Lynch, and I am a member of ATU Local 1764, and I'm a paratransit driver for Metro Access, the region's ADA paratransit service, which has been privatized by WMATA since the beginning. I am proud of the work that I do in the community that I serve. As you, may, as you may well know, WMATA has been divided the Metro Access system across several different for-profit companies. For-profit companies whose first interests are what? Making a profit for themselves. Metro Access, year after year, has had one scandal after another with these private companies. Most recently, the Washington Post reported that Metro's Inspector General is investigating one of Metro Access contractors for manipulating thousands of trip records. This was done in avoid paying liquidated damages over performance lapses. Last year, one of the companies was found to have billed WMATA for prescription trips for clients that the company knew were deceased. Everyone knows that privatization means cutting corners. This causes dysfunction in any transit system. I hear from riders every day. They're not happy, and if they could find other means of transportation, they would do so. They cannot get to the doctor on time, cannot get to work the way the system is designed now. And regarding the wages of workers, a 2013 Government Accountability Office survey of public transit agencies found that most of the time that when the agencies privatize public transit, they do so to reduce costs. It makes us drivers feel like we're not I'm on a clearance rack, like they're, we're the cheapest thing that we might could buy. Mm. I've seen firsthand how low wages negatively impact service. At my garage, it's been churn and burn year after year. I see so many faces when I show up to work every week. The turnover is so high that there is a shortage of drivers in September of last year brought the system close to collapse with a seven, sudden seven-point drop on on-time performance. Don't let this happen at DDOT. As one of Metro Access contractors said in Governing Magazine in 2015, we are in a competitive bidding situation. If you bid too high on wages, which is a substantial part of the total budget, we're not going to get the work. This, by design, creates a race to the bottom. Simple as that. Workers suffer and the riders suffer.